<clears throat> Aha, we are live and in color and direct. Hello, uh, hello everybody who is watching this. I see, I see some people in the live comments. Sorry for being late. It was my fault. Uh, how is everyone? What's up, Drag? What's good? What's good, people? How you doing? Um, hopefully, I'm kind of attacked today. They're taking a rest because last week the other networks were all over the place. But 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 we're back. Nevertheless, we're back. So I uh, hope everybody's good in the comments. Uh, let us know before we go any further if you can hear us, please, because we don't want to get halfway and then you tell us who would say uh, you can't hear us and what that. So yeah, can you hear us? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I know. Uh, those that are in the live comments, do let us know how is the audio sounding. I know there might have been an echo in the beginning. I forgot to put on my earphones. So drag was actually coming through my speakers and through the software. So uh, sorry about that. The uh, the actual thing should be good now. And uh, yeah, what's up, uh, everyone? Sure, put my thousand likes, red live. We are within a comment from Mumbo. Yes, thank you for joining. Oh, put my thousand likes. And uh, in keeping with that, my thousand likes, uh, don't forget to give this video a huge thumbs up uh also uh quick shout outs drag anything you want to shout out that you are working on i want to actually remind you guys about something we've got the red live website if you want to read about news it's a great website www.redlive.co.za so most of the time i'll be posting like uh, actual articles there i'm working with someone who's also writing articles so definitely go uh and check that out Hey, I see. I am a third mm -hmm. red live website and competing with the uh, Soweten and uh, Sunday News and all of that. <laughs> all of them. We are taking all of them on. All of them. Alice. Now, I'm, I'm proud of the work, bro. I'm proud of the work you've been, you know, you've been putting in work consistently for a couple, mm -hmm. several years now. You know what I'm saying? So there's no reason why you shouldn't be enjoying the fruits of that labor. But um, on my side, I've got some new music coming out next week. Actually, next Friday, I've got a single coming out. Um, it's called Letter to My Love, uh, featuring my friend and and partner in music, um, Freya. She, she's pretty dope. Uh, I think I've spoke about her before on the podcast. You know, she she did the soundtrack for 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 the South African Netflix series, um, Blood and Water. Mm -hmm. uh, the actual themes theme track for that um so you can actually youtube that later on uh, if you youtube netflix blood and water um soundtrack you'll know what i'm talking about uh mm -hmm. she's done soundtracks for like you know lockdown and stuff like that so some other series as well as well as her own music you know she's she's pretty good no, so true. yeah we have this song that's from my ep coming out next friday i'll put the the, the links to everything uh in the comments below um so yeah in the meantime you can check out my single that's already out from the same project it's called prayed up uh by drag produced by gt beats if you search for that also the link will be in the description below um it's been performing pretty well i think um collectively on all platforms i think i'm at about thirty thousand streams right now in the last two weeks so that's not too bad considering i haven't really dropped in years mm -hmm. so um Thank you very much for those who have been supporting. Thank you very much for um when I was looking at the analytics actually uh read mm -hmm. I did notice a few people click um coming from from here uh no. from, from from the podcast. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. yeah, so it was about 33%. Actually from the it was podcast. mainly yeah, thirty three percent from the podcast. So that's that's pretty that's pretty good. Uh, specifically, uh, the podcast where we spoke about some sawa and stuff. That was podcast number eighteen. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, shout out to everybody who did check it out. I really, really, really appreciate it. Do do check it out. Do follow me on Instagram, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So yeah, mm -hmm. let's start the show. Let's, let's start, start the, the code. show. Uh, quick comment from Unok Tula writes: "They hey, gents, looking good with those fresh cuts. Uh, I will say this. Thank you, first of all. But the reason why." Uh, we are a little bit late is the haircut thing you know this is a little bit of drama i got cut uh the, the guy that usually cuts me was busy so i had to get a haircut from someone else personally i feel like he messed up my hair but anyways uh, <laughs> cheating on your barber is worse than cheating on your girl sometimes bro. I'm you telling know you. the worst thing is that the guy was there he's there 
It's just that, you know, they're kind of making us f- uh, wait outside. So he couldn't see me. Usually when he sees me, he calls me in, you know, makes it like I had an appointment, even though I'm not first. So this time around, they just putting in whoever's in line first. So the person in front of me got the barber that I usually get. And then I had to get the other guy. And I was like, I- I'll wait. He's like, no, it's fine. I'll cut your hair. I'm like, no, it's cool. He's like, no, I'll cut your hair. And he messed up my shit. But anyways... <laughs> As if, it's I know the feeling though, because that happened to me before. But uh, that's why even like throughout this pandemic, I was like, nah, I'm gonna keep my hair until I can get the right guy to do it. And uh, to be fair, I've been doing home service with him. You know, I've been mm-hmm. getting him in to come and do my hair because I'm like, yo, I'm not coming to wait on the queue for hours because it, because of social distancing, right? But so now what what's happening is they're only allowing a certain amount of people at a time and it's slow, bro. So I'm like, I, I'm just going to pay. I'd rather pay the your transport, you come and do my and then that's it. <laughs> so, mm. but anyways, that is neither here or there. So what's yeah, up yeah, with yeah. the COVID? Uh, yeah, let, let's start with the COVID statistics as uh, per per usual here on uh, Red Live. Where, where's, the, where's the statistics? There we go. So uh, South Africa has now got a confirmed number of cases of 421,996, uh, almost half a million. We are currently at number five. Uh, when it comes to confirmed cases globally, we are like the number f- five most confirmed cases we've got 6343 deaths uh in the top five we've got the least amount of deaths actually uh because number four has got 13,000 hmm? recoveries uh recoveries we've got uh with south africa we've got 245,771 uh recoveries that's great that's more than half so that's that's not that's 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 a good statistic. That is uh, a good statistic. I don't know how they are getting that, but yeah, that is a good statistic. Uh, one thing I actually did see. Hmm? I'm actually curious. Who, who is in the top five? Uh, um, and also, um, just to add to what you just said, I think some of these Cuban doctors that they're bringing in in South Africa to help, you know, Cuba Cuba has some of the best medical uh, systems systems in the world man so you know that the aid probably is helping in a, in a real way um mm-hmm. so yeah shout out to cuba man for supporting you know south africa and, and our healthcare system hopefully it'll continue to keep the number of deaths down you know what i mean and hopefully it's it's not gonna be too much by the end of it but yeah who's in the top five uh the top five number one is the usa uh so at number one is the usa with four million confirmed uh uh, cases over 4 million number 2 is Brazil with 2.3 million number 3 is India with 1.3 million and number 4 is Russia with 806,000 to be honest that's not bad because all of those countries have a much larger population than South Africa so it makes sense mm-hmm. it makes it makes numerical sense but anyways um, so yeah, now I mean, you know, anybody who's lost any family members or anybody who's got family suffering right now, uh, mm-hmm. we're praying for you guys. We we wish you know speedy recoveries. We we wishing our deepest condolences to anybody who's lost any friends or family. So um, so yeah, that's the COVID stats, guys. So yeah, where mm-hmm. we at, bro? Where we at? What's the uh, news? I don't know if you saw the president's address uh, this during the week. I was like, did you see it? No, actually, um, I heard about it, but I actually haven't had a chance. I was going to check it out this morning, but it's, it's, it's been a bit of a hectic one. So fill me in. Uh, basically, okay, I will be honest with you. I was, I watched it, but I was kind of like half-heartedly <laughs> watching it because I was like, ah, this. I mean, alcohols, there's nothing like, wow, that was there. But uh, he did talk about the schools closing down. Public schools are going to close for about a month. Uh, so from I think next week's public schools are going to be closed as well as so the grade sevens and I think the grade twelves are also going to close as well for but just a shorter period. What else did you talk about? He talked about the looting, the alleged looting of the funds. You know the COVID nineteen relief funds that uh, they are. Guess what? They are investigating. You know how they see. They're always always investigating. Now I wanted to talk. Just, you know, just briefly about the whole school stuff, because I did see a lot of people were like, hey, why are public schools closing while the private schools are, well, they, they're not being forced to close. So it's only public schools that are going to be closing, not the, the private ones. 
And I thought about it, and I thought about it this way. It's like public, uh, private schools are probably more better equipped when it comes to, you know, uh, things like sanitizers, uh, maybe enforcing that social distancing in classrooms, having classrooms, smaller classrooms per se, and things of that nature. And also, I suppose in saying that, maybe... In if you look at it the other way, perhaps maybe the the government is admitting that they have failed when it comes to you know guaranteeing safety of learners in public schools because private schools seem to be able to sort of like contain it. Obviously, there are people who are getting uh, who are getting infected in in private schools, but it does seem private is better at sort of like containing it than public, which in a way is sort of like the ANC admission that they are not up to scratch when it comes to public facilities okay i mean i'm a, i'm a little bit confused about that because um when when it was initially announced that uh schools were going to reopen kids were going back people were up in arms about it they were like no i'm not sending my child back why do they want to use kids as guinea pigs now people are complaining that the schools are shutting down. Like, I, I don't get it. Which which is which? <laughs> Honestly, I think that uh, there's no win-win situation right now. Whether they close the schools, whether they open the schools, there's no, there's no win-win situation. There's no kind of, like, blueprint for exactly what to do during this particular scenario. So... I don't know. For me, I'm like, okay, just do whatever it is. Obviously, we expect them to have solid reasoning as to why they are doing things and why they're closing, but we're not getting that. So I think that's why people are frustrated because there's no real scientific, I suppose, things to back up why they're closing public schools or why they open them in the first place. So people are complaining about that. If I'm going to be honest, I think the closing of public schools is probably to do with cut, cutting funding, right? Mm -hmm. um, they're government schools. So obviously the government has to shell out their own money to to uh, keep these schools afloat. So if there's sanitizers and whatever that needs to be done and this and that, then that's on the government. So they're probably looking at it and thinking, hey, we don't really have the money to sustain that model. Whereas private schools they're private so mm -hmm. they're private entities they can afford certain <clears throat> things uh, that the government is probably not going to be willing to pay for they should be but i don't know if south africa is in a position financially to fund that type of thing you know what i mean so i don't know i think it's it's common sense at the end of the day i think it's down to you as a parent like do you want to send your child or not like it's up to you um for me at this point there's five months left in the year i don't see the point of, mm -hmm. of even bothering at this point because if your child is grade seven if your child is matriculating there's no point at this point you might as well just leave it think about it next year because even if you try and push push your kid to go back to school right now catching up with five months worth of work is is, is not is <laughs> it's not practical as well as trying to learn the work for the next five months it doesn't it doesn't make sense so for me i think really they should just write it off. Mm -hmm. Write it off. It is what it is. Um, and for you as a parent, if you feel like... I mean, I, I also understand, though, um, this part of it. Some parents are wanting to send their kids back to school. Not because they want the kids to go to school as such, but they have to go to work, right? So if you have to go to work, parent, maybe you can't afford uh, a babysitter or a nanny or whatever the situation may be. You know, maybe go, your, your child being in school helps with, you know, during the day and that, that. So depending on, on the on the age of your kid, obviously, I mean, if they're older, then, you know, you're able to sort of like leave them on their own or with other families. But if they're like younger kids, mm -hmm. I, th I, I know that that is an issue here where I am. So in, in, in uh, out in the UK and it it's is an issue an in the issue. US. But I'm, sorry. No, I'm saying it is an issue and I do get it. You know, I've been spending some time with my bundle of joy. Luckily, I've kind of butched her up so I can leave her in the house. Yeah. 
Yeah, so now I can leave her in the house and just be busy with my own things. Just put on some uh, some cartoons on TV for her. And she pretty much babysits herself, you know, apart from me having to make food for her, which I also make for myself. So those are the only things that I am currently doing for Bundle of Joy. But yeah, I do get that some people are not in that position whereby, you know, they have that time or freedom to do their own work and babysit their children. Yeah, I mean, at the same time, I know the thing is, like you said, you have the privilege of being able to work from home if, if need be. You got your office. You know, some people still like right now, restaurants are reopening in some areas. There are some bars. Are, I, I know in South Africa, uh, alcohol is banned again now. But over here, bars are reopening, meaning people are going back to work. So if you're on a night shift or you're on a whatever or a day shift, who's taking care of your child or who's, you know, so you still got to get back to work somehow and even if you do find the babysitters you might have to pay them something so you still gotta that you know it, it makes it difficult you know what i mean mm -hmm. so it's like i think it's just going to be down to each individual to do what's best for them at this point because to look to the government whether it's in europe or in, in africa or wherever mm -hmm. to look to the government for answers right now i don't think it's worked i don't think it's working for anyone no nah, not at all you know what let us leave huh Sorry. Now I'm saying let us let us move on from uh, all of the the COVID and government mm -hmm. stuff. Let's talk entertainment. I don't know if you saw uh, <laughs> the sort of about to uh, eating a and ten thing. Yeah, I saw that one. I mean, should I be honest? Yeah, be honest. Hundred percent honest. <laughs> Wait, first of all, how old is Zotto? Before I, I think she's Zotto about thirty five, right? Thirty four. Thirty four. Yeah. Ah man, she's not even that old to be even be called a sugar mama, bro. Like, come on. I mean, cause the, the guys that she's going for are like twenty five and above. To me, uh, what she the guy that she hit on recently is actually twenty one. Mm. I'm not mad at that either. To be honest with you, I think once you're allowed in the strip club, anything goes. And uh, the strip club <laughs> age is around twenty one. So yeah. what? What how, how, are you going to tell me? I'm allowed to go to a strip club? to watch naked women do whatever they do mm -hmm. um and you know go gambling at a casino or whatever this and a drink whatever drink i want to drink and you tell me that i'm too young to date this 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 woman that that's i mean for me personally if i'm going to be honest with you um if i look at my dating record most of the women i've dated are definitely older than me older Definitely. than you i thought you were gonna go all right my question to you is would you date 10 years younger than you 10 years yeah I'm, I'm a guy so that's not gonna be a problem though right so but if it's I not a problem I, for a guy this is my point actually i got a point here if it is fine for a guy to go 10 years younger why is it a problem for zotwa who's a woman to go 10 years younger and look for a 10 year younger guy for me i'm cool with it if I, the guy's fine I'm of legal age Mm. I don't know what the problem is either, to be honest, because I, I know women who who found me <laughs> and I was 10, <laughs> 12 years younger than them. So, you know, at the end of the day, it's how, it's how I feel at this situation. You know, I mean, if, if, if we vibe and we connect in a real way, hey, man, like, I don't see the... And Zota's only 34, guys. It's not like 60 or something. If she was like a 60-year-old, I'd be like, all right, maybe, you know, Mm -hmm. like what's up but she's 34 guys i mean she is 34 you know, which uh, guys she's not even like she's not even halfway to 40 basically exactly like i mean come on guys like, it's, it's not that big of a deal for me and um let, let, let's face it them 21 year olds have stronger backs than some of you 40 year old men so you know <laughs> she's probably thinking no <laughs> let me get me a young stallion you know what i mean like mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, until she breaks his back and move on to the next one. Hey man, Zota has got the energy, you know. What I mean, so she needs somebody to man. And 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 one thing I've noticed about Zota, she has a young spirit, you know. What I mean, like she has a very young spirit. She's somebody who likes to be out there. She likes to be free and carefree. And to be honest, I don't see someone like let's say my father's age, who is apparently supposed to be the one maybe looking at double Zota and stuff. I don't see Zoto, you know, making it work with a man like that because my dad ain't gonna really understand half of the things that she does. Do you know what I, I mean? You'll be there thinking, huh? Like, why 
why are you like that? Why are you moving? You know, why are you doing this on Instagram? Why are you dancing like that? Why, why are you why practically you, half so, naked on Instagram? Yeah, I mean, she, she posted, uh, 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 I think I saw it on your channel. Uh, that mm-hmm. thing of her on, on Instagram uh, mm-hmm. in, in, in the in the river in, in the river in the where river. she actually took a bath in the river. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that shit was crazy. I was like, so can you imagine a forty-five plus year old man trying to under think about that? The, the guys who are forty-five now, mm-hmm. I'm not saying all of you uh, guys, but majority were raised in a certain way back then. Like you were raised with certain connotations of how a woman should be or should do should say mm-hmm. in public you understand yeah. so now hey you, you're dating this young this this lady who has a young spirit and she wants to be spontaneous and do this and that you don't get it so she's gonna go find it and i'm seeing that more and more would see uh older women are starting to really allow that free spirit woman inside of them live and they're finding that happiness with younger men i'm seeing that more and more and I what what people in the comments say though? I wanna hear I wanna hear the comments. Yeah, no, let us know in the comment section below what do you guys think about uh, Uzoto going after Ama Ben 10. Like I personally have said, I don't see anything wrong. It's not like the guy is 16 or anything. He's a 21-year-old guy who's working and uh, he's grown up enough to sort of make his own decisions. And uh, look, I personally have joked uh, you know, to uh, Mrs. Red Live that if should her and I break up, I'm going for a 10-year-old, like minor 10 from me so i just for me i'm like okay obviously i'm not really gonna go for a minus 10 because minus 10 means i'm going for i'm a 21 imagine red life 21 22 year old hey that's that's more stress than it's worth bro i'm telling you now it is more i tried right. mm-hmm. i tried that shit one time or maybe twice and i was like i no, it's not for me especially yeah. after you kind of used to mature women who do things in a certain way and Ah, uh, there's no, there's no funny, funny business. You know, they, they, they have this, they should figure it out. I, uh, that 21 year old struggle, I know it's too much, bro. You know, what? I'll be honest with you guys. I've never, the youngest person I've dated was like minus five years from me. So I've never really gone down to 10, but there's a part of me, a cynic in me that says I could, I could teach her. I could teach her to be just right <laughs> for me. I could grow her up or something. <laughs> That's not how it works though. You date a young person, especially young women, when you date them before they find themselves, at some point along the way, they will discover themselves. And then they'll realize which way. Now you're not actually the, the guy that they thought you were. You know, you'll meet a girl who's 18 right now, for example. Maybe the best meal she's ever had was at, I don't know, Spare or something like that. <laughs> and okay. you will take it to Spare several times. And mm. she'll be happy with that. Until she gets to 21, 2021 and then now next thing you know some guy picks her up like yo listen there's this spot in in, in santin or whatever let's go here let's go check this out and then mm-hmm. now she's like oh so you've been shortchanging me all this time this mm-hmm. is what i really should be getting so that's the part that i don't like about that's that's mm-hmm. one part of it the other part i don't like is i you know i have grown man problems bro like when i'm <laughs> sitting here talking about my kids or talking about uh, certain types of bills that I have or business moves I have to make. And where now you're busy stressing about metric. Like two different types of problems. You, you can't really understand my, my, my struggle and what I'm going through. So I don't think it would per se for me, it's an age thing. But I think if you're 21 and you're dealing with the similar sort of situation I'm dealing with, with, yeah, we can talk on the same level. But unfortunately, most of the times, you know, when people are like 20, 19, 18, nah, they're usually talking about it. You know, they, their issues are different. Their issues are about who's doing what on the gram. I'm stressing mm-hmm. about metric. I don't have anything to wear for for Cotton Fest, for Cotton <laughs> You know what I mean? And I don't have those problems. That's, that's not the kind of problems I'm worried about. But this brings us nicely into something else that I wanted to talk about. The whole Michali thing, right? Mm. Before we talk about uh, I have no idea I want people to understand that It's not me who's kind of making drag smaller It's his network So his network is busy restricting His bandwidth and he's getting smaller And smaller I don't know if eventually you're going to disappear or something bro. (laughs) 
is it still happening? Or am yeah, I back? you just you just got you are. I, we can still see you. You're just getting smaller and smaller and smaller. <laughs> but right. it's cool. I'll keep on resizing you. But every time I resize you, obviously the quality gets a little bit worse. Uh, excuse me, Alfredo. I'm not doing anything, guys. I, you know, there's there's a lot of internet um uh issues in my area right now. I think they're trying to put up like new towers for 5G, so it's been crazy for like a month. Mm -hmm. So it connects. Sometimes it disconnects. So I don't even want to touch it right now because in case you know it starts acting up. So all right, moving right along. Govan has come through. He's like Michali is 24 years old this year. Is that is that too young for you? 24 uh no that it's it, it would be it would be the youngest i've ever gone down by because that'd be like eight years eight years younger let's be let's be honest bro you're only saying that because it's michelle what do you mean i'm only saying that no obvious <laughs> look bro, look no. the honest truth is let's just let me just put it out there i'm in a relationship i'm happy i don't want no stress but had i been let's just talk about an alternate universe where red live is single michali is 24 that is a perfect that is a perfect scenario one couldn't let that go i mean what's up with the whole situation with her boyfriend cheating or whatever catching a boyfriend cheating Oh yeah, uh, you know she talked about that. Uh, she posted on social media that uh, the other day she found lipstick stains on a mouthwash bottle, and uh, I did say in my video that uh, she'd never find that at my place because I don't even use mouthwash. But yeah, let's. This this goes into what I was kind of saying. Red life. Mm -hmm. If you catch your girl cheating right now, mm -hmm. or you suspecting she's cheating is the first thing you're gonna do go post whatever you think on social media about your relationship no no hell no definitely not <laughs> and 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 that's the kind of mentality i'm talking about like i don't think any girl that i've ever dated mm -hmm. no matter how much you each other dirty you're mm -hmm. never gonna see that shit online you're never mm -hmm. gonna see nudes leaking you're never gonna see that type of and, and that's the type of energy I'm talking about. Like, okay, fine, she, she's a public person. Most of her life is public, but I don't know how public she was about this guy before this. No, because obviously, obviously, you know what, Drag? It's not really like she went into detail. I think she was just sharing some stuff, and I'd assume that it's not the current boyfriend. It might be a past experience of sorts. So she's kind of. I think Michali was just talking about how much she has been hurt by men, and I said it in that video that women are worse than us men. Look, us guys, yeah, sure, we we do the normal hitting, but women just will hurt you on another level, bruh. Women will hurt you. You'll think about becoming a freaking pope, just giving up women altogether. <laughs> nah. Mm -hmm. I mean, you know, and, uh, women, women uh, they can be spiteful sometimes. They, they can burn your, your, your favorite sneakers. They can, you know, <laughs> they can soak your clothes in bleach, whatever they can do. But, I mean, I'm lucky enough I've never dated somebody psycho enough to... to and plus, I've never cheated. So, hey, I, I, I don't know about that. Never ever, Drake. Nah. Cross your heart, hope to die. Lightning from Limpopo will strike you now if you are lying. Cross my heart, bro. Like, cross my heart. I, I swear on my kids' life. I swear, I, I, I'm not a cheater, bro. That's just not how I roll. Like, I'm the type of person, like... I'm the sort of person, like... I'm kind of... When I get into relationships, I'm kind of Drake a little bit. Like, I wear my heart on my sleeve. But because I'm such a passionate person, like, when I'm into a girl, I'm into them. Mm -hmm. But once once I'm, like, had enough, I've had enough. Like, I, I have extreme feelings. Like, once I'm in, I'm in. But once I'm out, I'm out. So when I'm single, I'm really single. But when I'm not, I'm not. Like, it's one of those things for me. Mm -hmm. I don't cheat. You're, you're asking me that, like, you've cheated. You've cheated? <laughs> uh yeah i have you know in all honesty i have uh yeah i have hopefully not on your current girl uh you know what uh, current girl we've been dating current girl the thing is we've been dating for a very long time 
like a very long time. And I will say this, you know, I have turned a leaf, like a corner. <laughs> I've turned a corner. I would, I'm proud to say that this year I ain't done shit. Last year as well was kind of good. So there you have it. I've, tu- I've turned a corner. <laughs> this guy said kind of good. <laughs> <laughs> no, I have been good. Like uh recently, I've kind of uh matured up, I think. But at the end it look, bro, it's you know it takes a big man to admit their their shortcomings. And I did have those shortcomings, but you kind of grow up and you you, you try to get better. I I think. I that's hope. Real. That's real. Mm-hmm. Now, then, then again, for me. I've only ever really had about what maybe three or four serious relationships. So, um, like I said, when I'm in a relationship, I'm in a relationship. If I'm not in a relationship, I'm really living my best life. So, um, but nowadays, honestly, like maybe in the last year or two, maybe two years, let me say, mm-hmm. I've not even really been doing that either. Like, I, you know, even when I'm single, I've, I've not even really been spending most of my energy running around doing this and that. it gets tiring i was going to ask you though like i mean you're saying you've turned the corner now right yeah don't you feel like a lot better because like you know dividing attention is difficult i don't i don't care what you guys say i don't care how many guys in the comments will be like oh is he, whatever i can have 10 girls at the same time that shit is exhausting okay you cannot keep it up bro for a long time because you know in order to try and keep all your chicks happy. Let's say, for example, I'm dating Michali, I'm dating Faith and Getsy, I'm dating uh, who else? Who else is supposed to be an it girl out there? Uh, I don't know. Dan Dutuma or something. I don't know. Whatever, right? Mm-hmm. I'm like, okay, cool. Imagine all of these girls have standards <clears throat> that they want to live. They have things they expect. So imagine trying to, you know, this one calls you right now. She's like, okay, I want to be on the phone for, with you for like an hour. I missed you. You're like, okay, cool. You can't say no because you've already been on the phone with the other one. Or mm-hmm. she calls you right now. She's like, yo, I, you know what? I, I fancy going out for a meal. I can't be like, no, because I've already been out with the other one. So now you have to like dedicate half of your time trying to juggle with these women. It's just too much for me, bro. So I, I just... I will say this. Just, uh, when it comes to that, uh, like having two serious relationships... Uh, I, that one for me, nah, I haven't really, really done that. But uh, me, I'm talking more along the lines, let's say maybe your girlfriend can't come through for whatever reason for a weekend or whatever. I go out with the boys, I meet someone somewhere and that's it. Those type no. of things have happened to me personally in the past, but not like full-fledged. Okay. I've got a main nice. chick, I've got a side chick, I've got a satellite chick, I've got chick over for this province, that province. Nah, that one, uh, I, 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 I never really did that. But obviously, I will say like, you know, when I was kind of like chilling by myself, got bored, I'd probably go out, have some fun with the boys, meet up some people. And that's how it happened. It wasn't like, hey, I'm trying to seriously replace my girlfriend. It was one of those who would say, ah, and uh, we meet someone, uh, and that's how it happened, basically. So the main chicks, side yeah. chicks, satellite chicks. <laughs> yeah, now I feel you. I feel you. I mean, I, I, I agree. Um, I think as men, we probably, I mean, and women, I think we've all kind of done something similar. But the, the only time I've done, you know, those type of go oh, hang out, whatever, whatever. I, I've not been in a relationship though, so that's the that's the difference again. But I want to hear as well from you guys in the comments. Like, let us know uh, what do you think? Do you think it's a problem? Like, um, in terms of the two topics that we just spoke about, like the Zordo one, is, is it an issue for her to date you younger know men? And you know what? Dre, like, what I actually want to hear more is ladies tell us what are some of the craziest or weirdest things you've done to your guy like when you guys broke up what are some of the craziest things that you have done to him or to his stuff yeah that's what i want to hear from ladies ladies tell us some of the stuff that you do to get back to a guy who i suppose broke up with you or you are breaking up with uh things of that nature I want to hear from the guys too, guys. I'm sure somebody cheated, got cheated on. Like, you know, you know, us men, we have fragile egos, bro. Imagine your girl cheats on you, bro, and you catch her cheating. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> 
So has that happened to you? Have you ever caught someone cheating on you? Not red-handedly, but yeah, sort of. What is yeah, sort of? Like, like... She cheated um, with somebody who, ironically, she's married to now, actually. Uh, uh, she but... was cheating with you, Drag. Let's, let's get that clear, but carry on. No, 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 no. <laughs> because I actually knew her before that person knew her, right? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But like... It was one of those situations where I think I think uh, with us, I think it probably was one of those situations where I mean, it was a bit younger. So I think it was a situation where it was like, OK, I was just there and she was there and we vibed. And then we ended up getting into a relationship. But I don't think it was ever really the intention. Do you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So and, you know, it, and it was one of these church guys, man, you know, the keyboard guy. Never trust the keyboard guy in church, guys. Let me tell you right now. Don't trust the keyboard guy, the drum guy in church, the guitar guy. <laughs> I'm telling you, guys, don't trust them. They'll uh-huh. child your girl. Uh-huh. Man, they'll child my girl. The only way I found out is because um, she actually fell pregnant. Mm-hmm. And she tried. Um, I mean, I don't think she's, she'll be seeing this this video. So I, besides, I'm not mentioning any names. So <laughs> even if she does, whatever, man. But uh, she fell pregnant, basically. And... Um, what she did was she um she tried putting it on me like yo i'm pregnant mm-hmm. blah 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 and i was like how because me and you and, 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 and it's crazy because at that point me and her had never like had unprotected sex do you know what i mean so i was like what like how did that she's like oh, how do you Man. know she, yeah at that point we had ne- we hadn't had unprotected sex yet so i was like how because that hasn't happened yet She's like, oh, well, I mean, how about maybe the condom split or something? I'm like, hey, I'm the one who has to put it on and remove it. So I will be the one to notice if it split. So what hey, are you bro. talking about? In all and the then, years I've been alive and uh, using these condoms, not once has a condom ever busted. Ever. Hey, uh, ever. Same, same here. Do not, guys, do not fall for that one. It does not. I know maybe they tried, tried on, you know, like these newcomers, you know, a guy who's just... just Getting into being with a woman, they'll tell you, ah, the condom probably busted. It it never busts, guys. It it honestly doesn't. Uh, n- not when you have decent ones, anyway. I'm asking a choice, but the, the decent ones, yeah, I know they don't. Bro. And so I said, okay, that's what happened. And then and then when that happened, I basically said, okay, we're just gonna wait this the nine months, and we'll do the DNA test. If it's mine, then I'll step up. Mm-hmm. And then I think she got cold feet because yeah, now she knew what she had done. And mm-hmm. what she didn't want to do is embarrass herself and go for the test in case it's not mine. Oh, okay. So she came clean. She was like, yo, listen, bro, this is what happened. We've got a confession, so, by uh, the way, on the comments. What's up? What's from up? Princess Boothley. She wrote a comment and she deleted it, but it's still here. I can see it right there on screen. It's written, I stole his bank card. Whoa. <laughs> Uh, wait, 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 did you change your name to your actual real name on YouTube? Wait, you're crazy. Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh, so she, uh, anyways, Bush is stealing uh, bank cards. Uh, yeah, movie. <laughs> what? T- come on, ladies, printer, uh, play hard. Tell us what are some of the craziest stuff that you done did to an ex? Because I can see you in the live comments. You are laughing at other people's pain, but you are not telling us what you what your crazy <laughs> self has done. The crazy part is I uh, I think I know the person you're talking about, Bush as well. I mean, by the way, guys, well, Bush, is, Bush is a good friend of mine, man. Like we we kind of known each other for like what, maybe five years now, six years. Mm-hmm. So I I think I know the. <laughs> mm-hmm. So yeah, uh, I'm glad you deleted that in case. But anyways, <laughs> um, <laughs> well, what 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 have you guys done? Like, come on, come through, come through. I know some of you guys have done some crazy stuff. Mm-hmm. I think uh, I think we once actually talked about this. I remember telling you guys that uh, I've personally once been poisoned. I also told you that someone then broke my car window, uh, things of that nature. But uh, when it comes to uh, to cheating, I don't think uh, I don't uh, have I ever been cheated on. Look, I will say this: I've never caught actually. The very first girlfriend, actually, one of my first girlfriends I ever... But you know what? It was like in high school. I was still Ipar. We hadn't even done anything yeah. apart from kissing. So 
I do look back and I'm like, I don't blame her. You know, uh, she, I caught her cheating on me with a guy with a car, older guy. And uh, I'm like more, fi- like more power to her. You know, I was still at school. I probably, I don't remember. I didn't even have a bicycle at the time. So, Bangsha, like I'm, I'm proud of myself that, you know what? It took a guy with a car who was older than me, who was probably moneyed to get me out of the relationship. And at the time, like I said, I was still a kid. I was young. So that's the only girl I've ever personally caught cheating on myself. I don't know if any other girl has cheated, but right now I'm not, I don't really go out looking for that. I don't, if you are, just do it. Just, I don't, I don't want to know. Yeah, hey, same here. Mm-hmm. Same here. I thought I was the only guy who feels that way. Cause at this point, honestly, like I, I don't, I don't really look for stuff like that. Like if you're cheating, you're cheating. What am I supposed to do about that? Like if that, that's on you. One, mm-hmm. one thing I don't like though, is when women cheat and they come and confess and they claim it's in the name of honesty, in the name of uh, mm-hmm. being real and whatever, whatever. I'm like, no, that's not, the, that's, that's lies. You're doing that just to empty your own guilty mm-hmm. conscience. You know what I mean? Like you're not doing it because you, 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 you feel bad or whatever. Now nah, it's like, nah, you, you feel guilty mm-hmm. that you're looking at me lying. Now you don't confess. If you cheat, take that to the grave with you. Amen. Or just leave me and move on with the guy you cheated on. Purse, simple like that. Uh, we've got a confession from Uplay Hut right there. I hid his car keys, took his money, and I've disappeared not answering my phone. But that wasn't for cheating. It was because I got mad. Mad what? Yeah, that sounds like a Caribbean woman. By the way, Uplay Hut is a Caribbean woman. She's from, uh, wait, uh, I think it's Trina. Uh, you're Trina. You're Trina Daddian. Trina Daddians, Jamaicans. Mm-hmm. Uh, Barbados, uh, I don't know, what do you call people from Barbados? Anyway, people, whatever, people from Barbados, like Rihanna, they're crazy. Trust me, they're crazy. So, um, I can mm-hmm. say- <laughs> yes, yeah, Cindy, Cindy, we also want your story right there. Uh, we've got another confession from Ubu. She wrote it down properly now this time. Uh, it reads as follows. I stole his bank card and did all the good shopping. Then I still brought him stuff too. Uh, he only realized uh, it after three weeks of us breaking up that it was me. Jesus. Christ. Whoa. Jesus Christ. Oh, what you, oh, wait, wait, hold on. What, what do you do if your ex-girl has used your bank card? Mm-hmm. Um, like that, um, unsolicited, basically. Mm-hmm. What do you do? Do you raise a case against her, or is that is that fraud, or do you just say, "Yo, I take my loss and just keep it moving"? Personally, I take my loss and keep it moving, but I think legally <laughs> it's fraud. I mean, yeah, we know legally it's fraud, but what I'm saying is, would you be, would you, would you be a? Would, I don't know. I don't. I don't even want to say would you be a man because I don't know if it's being a man or not. But would you be a man enough to say, I? Uh, especially if you're the one who cheated, would you be like, all right, cool, or whatever, I'll take my losses and go? Or would you be like, you know what? I'll get you back and let's finally o- open a case. Mm-hmm. <laughs> hey, drag me. I, I, I personally, I'd let it go. I'd be like, ah, okay, boom. I so yeah. me, as long as it's over, I'd take my, Govan also writes there, take my loss and move on. Honestly, I'd do that. I'd take my loss as well. Move on. It happens to the <laughs> best of us. Uh, yeah. <clears throat> It'd be a court for a giving statement. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine. <laughs> nah, I'd, I'd, put, I'd also take my loss and I'd move on. I will say that, uh, like, what would... You know what? I was thinking about as a guy, what would you do to a woman like to get back at her if you caught her cheating? Honestly, like I, nothing, nothing. There's nothing you can do. There's, there's really nothing you can think about that, bro. Like, because the, the thing is, as a guy, physically, we are stronger than women. Mm-hmm. So your first instinct to hurt is not to do other da- <clears throat> forms of damage. Your first instinct might be to slap her, and that's not right by under any circumstances. Which I think so. Basically, as a guy, I don't know. I mean, you can't do other petty stuff, but you'll probably feel silly about it. You know what I mean? I think mm-hmm. the only reason why women do that is because they know they can't physically overpower us, so mm-hmm. they'll find other ways to hurt you, to kick you where it hurts. Mm-hmm. Whereas with us, honestly, what's going to be your first instinct? You're probably going to want to hit, right? You're not going to be thinking, ah, I want to. I mean, unless if you go like smash her auntie or something, I don't know. It's just, uh, <laughs> auntie. 
<laughs> yeah, I mean, that's the only thing you could do. Other than that, what are you going to do? Take your bank card. You would feel like a sucker for doing that. If you took your girl's bank card and, and swiped it, you would feel like a sucker for doing it. You were not yourself. When mm. I'm saying, look, if you play like, hard to teen, if a man catches his woman cheating, he should forgive her and take her shopping. You, you're crazy. Play hard. Why that are you trolling us here? Uh, well, for me, I can tell you my one incident of catching a woman cheating on me. What I did, uh, what I did is I went, I, I went back to her the following morning. Uh, I asked her to give me back the teddy bear that I had bought for her. <laughs> Guys, I was still in high school. I was still in high school. Don't judge me. Don't judge me. I asked for my teddy bear that I had bought her for Valentine's Day. <laughs> Took that back. Uh, I think uh, I've seen it before at uh, my mom's place. I think my mom still has that teddy bear. So I took back my teddy bear. I never spoke to her since then. Actually, I just recently, funny story. I recently kind of hooked up, uh, talked, got and um, talked whoa, to her, whoa, ran into whoa, her. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Don't be incriminating yourself, bro. <laughs> no, I'm not incriminating myself. Uh, <laughs> no, I just recently bumped into her. First time seeing her in over 10 years or something. Yeah. Uh, I see in the comments there, we'll play hard. Uti, oh my God, you were so petty. Look, guys, this I was like in grade, I was in grade 10 or 11. Hmm? But what I'm saying, right, as a grown man, there's nothing you can do. I mean, in grade 10, fine, whatever. You, you're like, what, 15, 16? Maybe you're, you're sore. But as a grown man, what can you do if you catch a woman? Because like I said, this is what leads most men to end up beating up their girls. So the best thing to do is to just walk away, bro. Just leave it. Yeah, you, know, you your ego take your teddy bear and leave. Don't. I didn't touch you. Just took my teddy bear and bounced. <laughs> And I, I, I'm trying to think. I've never taken anything a gift back. You know, I'm trying to think if I've ever taken a gift back from from a girl. Oh, um, no, no, no. That was for me. That was also just a one time thing. It was a a youth thing. Well, but but whoa, whoa, hold on, hold on, hold on, red light. Let's say you are a rich person. I'm trying to. I was trying to think of somebody rich, but anyway, let's just say you're rich. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Your girlfriend is Kanyumba or whatever, right? Um, <laughs> and you bought her a nice Porsche. And then you just found out she's just getting, you know, the pipe laid down on her by maybe one of your homies or whatever. Mm -hmm. Do you still walk away from that gift the same way you would walk away from the minor teddy bears and shopping? Or would you be like, yo, <laughs> I'm getting that car repossessed? Uh, you know what? Uh, okay, personally, I've never bought a woman a Porsche, but uh, you know, we've bought women uh, clothes, we've bought women things of that nature. Those things, cell phones, yeah, nah, those I've never asked for them back. But if it was a car, and if it's a car, I'm still paying for like ego installment, I'm getting my car back. I am honestly <laughs> getting my car back. <laughs> Uh, no, you know what? I can't even be mad at that because it's like, yo, what the hell? Like, I mean, I'm still actively paying for this. So, if if the minute you do me wrong, the contract is over. So, if you want to keep the car, you pay for it yourself. I yeah, guess. I mean, yeah, obviously, I'd come through with that option. Which, hey, if you want to keep the car, you can keep paying for it. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> but if you're not going to be able to pay for it, then I mean, I, I want to take it back to the store because now me, I'm not going to pay for a car. That's well, yeah, car, the car that you're gonna be driving your side nigger in Jesus yeah, Christ. Yeah. <laughs> No, I mean, well, I personally, yeah, that's what I'd say. Like a car, definitely that one, we'll talk about it. But other stuff, the cell phones, clothes, oh, ah, keep that stuff. Oh, what if you're paying your girl's rent? You know, I mean, Obviously, like you I'm not paying it. On, if, I'm not paying it. Mm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, okay. I, I will say this, though. For me personally, the closest I've come to repossessing something uh, uh, that I've bought for someone is when I actually booked a vacation for me and, and someone. Mm -hmm. And that person acted up between the time I bought it and the vacation. And actually, I spent quite a, a big amount of money on it. Mm -hmm. The person started acting up. I hadn't told her yet that I've got this thing. Um, so I was like, hey, I'm not even going to bother telling you now. So I took it back. 
So does that count? Or was I supposed to still give it to her? That doesn't count. Funny, uh, talking about a gift that I ended up also keeping, I remember uh, I had a, sort of like a girlfriend, Nyana. Uh, she was kind of starting to come to my place. So I decided to buy her a gown, a pink gown. We broke up before she came to my place and find the gown. So I remember for a good couple of months, I was wearing a pink gown. This is a true story. Oh, yeah. So I, th- I thought it cut off. But uh, a pink gown is kind of cool, though. Right? That's kind of like, that's kind of fly. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> no, it, it was kind of fly, you know, considering that, you know, on my street, probably they think I'm this crazy little kid, nyah, nyah, shah, nyah, guy. They were like, I look at him wearing a pink gown, which was cool. <laughs> I wore it for a while until, until, until I got someone new and then had a fight about it and I had to throw it away. How about, how about, okay, before we move on to something else, how about... If what was I gonna say now? I can't even. Oh, how about regifting the gift? Like, let's say you bought the gown, or you bought, let's say, a pair of shoes for your, for a your girl. You fight before you give it to her. You keep it and give it to to the next chick. Is that is that is that is, is that is that forgivable? I, I want to hear from the- Yeah, no. Let us know down below. I mean, I didn't think about regifting it. To be honest with you, I was like, ah, oh, I got there's a gown. It's cold. I'm cold. Might as well wear it. I suppose. I suppose. But I, I think I would have really gifted it. I'm not going to lie. I would have probably been like, you know what? I'll keep this here. There will be another queen that will come through one day. She can have that. <laughs> well, I didn't have a <laughs> gown at the time. At least now I got my own gown. So, yeah. <laughs> but anyways, uh, is there anything else we wanted to talk about? Uh, Well, talking about cheating, which is actually kind of one of the topics that we did want to talk about. It was... uh. There's uh someone actually asked me in the comments uh, about a I think she's an influencer, K- uh, Cayenne Bougie or Cyan Bougie I don't know how to pronounce her. I had to look her up, looked into her story. Apparently, uh, like she broke up, the boyfriend broke up, broke up with her, and then she did the crazy stuff that we've been talking about. You know, she uh poured water on his laptop, messed up his car, <laughs> and she's sending voice notes saying that it's not over. I mean, I, you, you're not leaving me, saying things like, if you leave, I'm going to kill myself. So, what? yeah. yeah she, that, I, I heard the voice notes, man. That's what she's saying. The guy, the guy. there's also another voice note is showing the stuff that she did, you know, like uh, showing the laptop that's been damaged, showing his car that is damaged, and he's saying, oh, because... I broke up with her. I don't want to fix things. I want to break up with her. That's what the guy is saying. Now, they don't really go into the details as to why they broke up. Was it cheating or is the guy just so much fed up with her? Like I said, I don't really know. I just recently saw uh, her. She's, like I said, an Instagram influencer. She's got over 200,000 followers on Instagram, things of that nature. So apparently she's very popular on the uh, amongst the youth that's what someone wrote to me there's like red life that means you're not you're not you don't represent the youth because you don't know who she is i'm like I, people i talk about i'm a celebrities not i'm an instagram influencers but fit right. Right. there's too many of those you know, do you know how many people have more than 100 200 000 followers on instagram like, you could never keep up with all of them right there's too many of them the but areas. um you just said right now uh, we don't know the details of why they broke up. Do you need any further details to see why the young man wants to break up with her? I mean, she's crazy. That's just <laughs> said right now. <laughs> mm-hmm. No, she's that she's sounds- uh, she, that, from me. What I saw was uh, a woman who's bad shit crazy, bro. <laughs> she's beautiful. Like, I don't think. I can- yeah, of course, the beautiful ones usually are crazy. I mean, geez, I, I found that out firsthand luckily it's never really been that deep for me so it's, it was never that deep to the point where because I, I I'm, I'm if anything that i'm good at i'm a very good judge of character mm-hmm. like i can see something coming from a mile away before it even comes so i was like ah, you know and that's where i kind of knew for me that these ig sort of stars or whatever these sort of popular whatever you want to call them uh i knew that wasn't for me i was like i i, I like a quiet life uh, let me get me if I get myself a woman and I can a nice hard working low key woman. I listen to them, my IG whatever. Cause 
the thing is with IG chicks as well. Not all of them, not all of them, guys, because they're probably some Instagram girls watching this, thinking, "Oh, you drag when I blah blah." But what what I'm what I'm trying to say is, you all feel like you have a brand to protect. You feel like you have a, a image to uphold. So, if you are supposed to be the it girl that every young girl is looking up to, and people about wanna doing these you know extravagant things and you seem to be in this lovely, lovely relationship. Suddenly, your downfall is not good for your brand. So mm-hmm. now your ego's wounded because you're like, "How dare you reject me? I am such and such bougie, whatever her name is." So you're like thinking, "Nah, like it's, it's not gonna go down like that." But then by reacting that way, you're making your, yourself look even more of an ass. So I don't know what was the point of her doing that. If I was her. If she's so popping, like people say she is, God bless the young woman. I don't know her, guys. So, but if she's popping, I would have leveled up on him. I would have been like, okay, cool. You, you, you ditching me? I right, cool. I'm gonna level up. I'm gonna go find something that's whatever represents the next level. You know, that's, since she can't take. Uh, funny sorry. thing is, once upon a time, drag you said I'm a cold man, but I'm gonna say you cold, bro. Because what if the girl was in love, like serious love, like the love with the capital L O V E? It happens. What if she's like thought that this is the last that's guy that will ever be in her life? That's not how love works. Love doesn't make you wanna hurt those you love. Love makes you want to have compassion for those that you love, even when it hurts you. You but, okay, like, Jack, what I'm trying to say, not really like, haven't you ever been in a relationship where you like look at your partner and you're like, ah, when I'm growing old with you, like, ah, there's nothing yeah, that's going to separate before. us. That's happened before, and that person actually broke my heart. But guess what? I did not sabotage her shit. I was like, okay, all right, whatever. I'm going to find a way to heal this shit and uh, watch so many, so much episodes of Game of Thrones and whatever else I had to do to keep my mind away from it nah, that's just what you do honestly. like i mean it is what it is bro like think about it man like if you're doing that that's that's an ego thing that's not like love bro i understand lo- love love when when somebody breaks up with you when you're not prepared for it it hurts but when your ego is hurt that's where you react like that because you're like oh shit what how dare you it's not like a, a thing that's coming from a place of love. I, 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 I'm not saying she didn't love the guy, but I feel like the ego was more wounded than the love itself. Because you don't nah. react like that. Me, I love, think it was... You know what? Uh, like, like I said, for me, I feel like maybe girl was like, you know, this is a teacher. Me and this guy, we're going to sort of like walk into the sunset and it's it's it. Which is cool. I mean, I'm all for that. You know, red life, love's love. And uh, it, I'd say this, it would suck if if that happens, you know. Uh, it would suck if it ends. Because personally, I'm like, uh, I mean, I've also been in one of those situations where I was like, ah, say chai, then it ended. And it's like, not it's not a nice what, thing. What did you do, though? Like, did you feel the need to be like, okay, I'm going to make sure you're not happy because I'm not happy. Like, make sure that she's not happy. No, uh, like, okay, for me, it's different because I'm a guy, number one. And number two, I'm very, very cold and arrogant. So I was like, ah, screw it. If if it's over, I'm going to go find as many people as I can in as whatever. So that's what I did. You know, I filled up that gap you left with other people. Women can do the exact same thing. Well, that's what I'm saying. Men, men have an even more fragile ego than women, man. That's what I'm saying. Like, for us, when we get dumped like that, it hurts even more. But if you care about the person, and me, but let's say you still want to... You, you know, for me, the person that I can say I felt a heartbreak with, uh, somewhat of a heartbreak, I, I actually spent maybe like a year trying to fix that shit. I didn't feel like, okay screw you i'm gonna make sure that i'm gonna do this and do that i was like okay i'm gonna be extra nice now i'm gonna do the most so (laughs) until i realized that yo this shit ain't gonna work right like me trying to do the most to make sure that you come back in the funny thing is like we couldn't continue dating after the breakup for like a year but Mm -hmm. she just didn't want the serious side of it you know so but eventually my love for her made me realize that yo 
I just got to let you go and be happy. Like, go do your thing and be happy. Like, I, there's nothing I can do to make you feel whatever. So that was out of love. But if I felt my ego was bruised, I would have been like, F this chick. I'm going to go smash all your friends. And I could have done. You know, I, I, I'm not even going to lie. I am 100% capable of doing that if, if I was, if my ego was wounded. Mm-hmm. But I, I, I've grown to a place where, I've, I've found I, my, my inner peace, man. Like, I, I prefer my inner peace. You know what I mean? Because... Drag, it, it just, comments are saying that you are a scorned man. Nah, 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 nah. I'm, for me, man, I'm, I'm in a happy place, bro. I uh-huh. trust... Now? Nah, I'm in a good place. But what I'm saying is, I wouldn't do that. I, I wouldn't personally let my ego get in the way like this chick did. Like, where she goes and burns and stabs tires. That's... That's if you love someone, that's a weird way of showing it. That's what I'm saying. It's not weird. I mean, I've I've had uh, personally, I have had an incident where I was attacked, physically attacked by a woman who uh, claims that she loves me, and uh, oh, we're still together. So I suppose she does love me, right? I don't know, bro. I, yeah, I mean, I but just... you know what? I'll say this. You know, <laughs> when it came to that, it was one of those things. Good team. Okay, at the time, it didn't feel like that. But now I look back, I'm like, you know what? She fought for this relationship. She really wants to be in this relationship. It's me that needs to pull up my socks. And that's what I did. I pulled up my socks. But then there are those people who are just, maybe the guy was there to hit and run and just smash and move on. Maybe. We don't know, like I said. But I personally... You can't force someone to be in a relationship they don't want to be in. Like, that's what I'm saying. Like... You just got to know when to, to cut ties. Like, be like, all right, cool, I'm out. Like, I mean, for me, I've always been that type of person, though. Like, I've always been the type of person who who can carry his losses well. Like, I can take my losses and be like, all right, cool. I'm going to carry that. Let me see how I can I can move on and do other things. You know what I'm saying? So, because I, I just don't see how it serves a purpose to do that unless your ego is bruised. Trust me, like a bruised ego will make people do the most weirdest things, bro. Like both guys and women, you know what I mean? <laughs> both mm-hmm. guys and a bruised ego is the same thing that will make you want to, you know, go repossess things or whatever, stuff like that. The petty shit, like, because you're like, oh, man, I can't believe. But if, if, if you just take your loss, man, eventually you're like, you know what? It is what it is. But I guess that's just, you know, people are different. We, we, we all react differently. So... Uh, yeah, get in the comments, guys. Let us know how you would react to it. Did you, do you think that the girl reacting that way, do you think that she was justified? And was that a good way of showing him that she loves him? Destroying mm-hmm. his possessions? But, you know, <laughs> or do you think she should have just took the L and be like, I right, cool, I'm going to level up. And I think, I think she should have leveled up on him. If she's so popping, like people say she is, mm-hmm. it shouldn't be that hard to level up. Level Look, up. bro. Drag, she loved this guy so much that she decided to break his stuff. Man, live with a fuck up, bro. That's mm-hmm. all I'm saying. Like, like breaking stuff is not going to make me want to come back. It's going to make me think you're crazy. Mm-hmm. Well, we've got a comment from uh, Cindy writes that drag is a grown man, 100. That is from Thank Cindy. Mm-hmm. Who understands. Thank you. We've got play hard to write another trolling pic, uh, comment. Writes that you know what men say: beat me if you love me. So that's why you, uh, some women get aggressive. I don't. Re- I, I, I've never met a man who's like beat me, girl, beat me. Unless it's like bedroom kinky stuff, but like, uh, nah, 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 nah. I'll pass on that. I'll yeah, pass. no, I'll also pass on the on the beating me <laughs> thing. You know, nah, don't don't beat men. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh what uh, let's go a little bit further up and say uh we've got Ushati writes the drag is lying pink gown ain't it drag are you lying to me bro you like yes, what are you talking about mm. that, that that is some fresh shit but then again I, i'm that type of person to to wear pink stuff so hey why not all right drag nights nah, you know what at the end of the day i don't have the gown anymore so i'm cool if you are lying to me, it's cool, Drag, but I don't have the gown no more. You don't, you don't wear pink, red light? No, nah, I don't wear pink. I'm a man really? who sticks between gray, white, black. I find that, listen, I'm a man who can dress. So if you if you can dress, you can wear any color, bro. You, you know, so I feel like uh, that whole, 
you can, you, you can pull it off. You can, you know, obviously it doesn't mean everything has to be all pink, but you you can find a way how to make the pink look cool. Like, I, but hey, then again, that's that's me, right? So I I like going against the norm. So. Mm-hmm. <laughs> uh, we've got uh, another comment that came uh, in earlier from Menzi RSA writes the word no use getting mad over a cheetah find a better woman and be happy amen amen, amen indeed mm-hmm. one more time for the people at the back one more time for the people at the back Mm-hmm. <laughs> find a better woman and be happy that's it that's it just move yourself up uh we've got a super chat from uh princess Boucher. thank you princess Boucher, for the super chat much appreciated let us uh let us go a little bit further up and see uh if anything is there yeah that's that's all the the comments basically okay now yeah. guys uh yeah i think uh that was a cool place to to leave i mean i guess it's the cheating thing now i think if 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 you're really feeling like ah, someone did you dirty man just trust me you'll feel a lot better for it if you just leave it alone it's hard but leave it alone bro like leave it alone move on and you know save save yourself some stress yeah and and if you're going to work it out and i'm not i'm not against people that work it out as well after cheating if you decide to work it out Work it out the right way. Don't work it out thinking, good to, okay, I'm going to revenge eventually because then that's just that's just toxic. You know what I mean? If you're, if you're going to say, okay, you cheated, I'm willing to forgive you, do that. Don't be like, okay, I'm going to keep you simply because I want to revenge. Nah, that, that, that doesn't work. For mm-hmm. me, I just don't think that works. I've seen people do that. It just, it just adds to the problem. So mm-hmm. uh, there's no problem. Uh, on so, my yeah, side... I'll just say... It's a, a little bit different from what Drag is saying. I would say that uh, if you do catch someone cheating, uh, don't work it out. Move on. Uh, leave. I personally did it. Uh, took my teddy bear back and just never looked back ever since. And now I'm cool with it. Honestly, I'm 100% cool with it. And uh, I feel like if someone is cheating on you and you catch them, then look you caught them move on i will that's the thing if they are even allowing you to catch them or just you do catch them it means they're not even being that careful about it in the first place they don't really care but uh yeah if you do catch someone cheating move on and so simple if, so, and clear. Uh, I, I hope that applies to when you get caught cheating right uh well i've never been caught cheating no i'm just no no don't don't move the goalpost i'm saying if you do get caught cheating no if if i do do get caught cheating yeah of course leave me but uh until you do catch me then uh i'm too shy i shy are you saying we to wear now red life you'll be Uh willing to hand in the contract to end to terminate the contract where now yourself you're not going to beg your girl like, hey, please understand for a minute. Hold on. Let me explain. You're just going to be like, okay, the jig is up. You caught me. Cool. You know how many times I've been dumped for WhatsApp messages, dumped for uh, I heard you were there with somebody. I've never been like, no, it wasn't me. I'd be like, no, wrong number. I mean, I'm like, okay, when are both now? You're in my phone. And you are you are now here fighting with me. What was the outcome? Where you do you want me to say no, no, no? What you saw is fake. It's a hacked account. I'll always leave it up to you. If you're gonna come to me with stuff that you saw on my phone, heard from someone, you didn't catch me there with that somebody. You must have a decision. You 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 must come to me already made up your mind that okay, I'm leaving you. Cause don't be coming to me and expecting me to say I know it wasn't me. I know wrong number. I'm not gonna say that. So I uh, have actually been uh, yeah, like well, dumped for messages. Some of them were even innocent, you know. Some messages were sort of like one of those you met someone, you're just talking it out. And I have been dumped for those. So I was like, ah, that's cool. Because I'm not really going to now do what they want. Because they want you to now call the person and tell them to leave me alone. Which... <laughs> <laughs> I mean, this is coming from a guy. This is coming from a guy who said, I am cold. He's not even gonna try and, and and clarify to his girl like, hey, no, that was that's a misunderstanding. He's like, all right, well, Ubonile, whatever you saw, so it is what it is. I'm out. 
But that's the thing. Once you go down that road, what I've personally uh, f- saw is that once you go down that road of going through a, a, someone's phone, you always now want that update. Even as a woman, like personally, I've done this way. I I went through a like old relationship phone, and I was always asking. So, is this guy still talking to you? Huh? Who's, <laughs> let me see your phone. You, you you get like that, and I don't want that. You understand? So it's best to just leave rather than putting yourself and your partner through that. You know, always be checking up. So today, did anyone uh, ask for your numbers? Did anyone, you get to that point, you get to that point where, did anyone say hi to you when you are on your way here or something, you know? So I just, if you get there and take it there, you might as well end it. Yeah, now I feel you. I Well, I mean... I, I guess I guess I get what you're saying. I mean, I think the be- all I can say is to end this is uh, for me personally as a man. I think the best thing I've done for myself is to identify the issue that most of us men have had or been taught how to have a fragile ego. What we think is being masculine is really being a vagina, to put it in the most polite word. <laughs> <laughs> to put it in the most polite word, like we've been taught to. That oh no, this shouldn't happen, or else this or else. But you, what what happens is, it turns you into somebody who's sensitive about certain things that you really shouldn't be. So for me, I I'm, I am honestly that person who my ego is so in check now. I don't see the need to check your phone. If you if your ex calls you right now and be like, "Hey, long time, how are you doing?" I am not up in here screw facing, wondering why you're talking to your ex. I don't give a shit. You're with me. Mm-hmm. You're with me. Like at the end of the day, you are sleeping in my bed. You are coming on dates with me. You are claiming me as your man. I don't care if you still talk to your ex. I don't care if he checks on you. You can even invite him to our wedding if you want. I don't. I really don't give a <laughs> shit. But some people, some people care. Like for me at this point, I really because I ask myself the question: Why do I care? Mm-hmm. The girl is mine. The girl is with me. So why do I? Why am I so bothered about this guy? I'm giving that guy the power. So mm-hmm. for me, the one thing that I've done over, you know, maybe the last maybe four or five years was like, yo, this fragile ego shit, this so-called macho man shit that's supposed to be like, nah, if you see your girl talk to his her ex, you're supposed to react like that. That's giving the guy power, bro. He's looking at you thinking, oh shit, you're that, you're that like scared. Like, are you that insecure? Like, ah, th- that's just some BS for me, man. Like if the girl is with me, she's with me. Mm-hmm. And I and uh, I believe I'm good enough to keep her around. So and if I and if it gets to the point where I'm not longer good enough to keep you around, hey, that's where I do a, a red light and be like, ah, right, cool, move on, baby girl. It's cool, like do your thing. <laughs> but, but what I'll I'm do not, a red light. <laughs> yeah, I'll do a red light. I'll do a red light. I'm not gonna go through your phone. I'm not gonna be misreading your messages. I don't need your Twitter, Instagram password. I don't need none of that shit. If if your phone rings and it's a guy's name on there. I don't need to hear every explanation. I mean, obviously, as, as 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 your boyfriend or as your husband or whatever it may be, yes, it would be polite to know, like, oh yeah, that's such and such. Oh yeah, this is a project that we're doing. But I'm not gonna start looking deeply into what time are you going there? When are you coming back? Because well, I, I trust you. You're my girl. I trust you. So if I trust you, I trust that you're gonna make the right decision. And if you don't make the right decision, <laughs> Be ready to to lay the bed that you make. If you if you, you know make one that thing, is, can I say this? You know, on a, on a, this is actually coming from a man who kind of woke up uh, f- this year and like past year and a half, basically. I don't get cheating. Like I've gone through a point whereby I was I'm so happy with Bay with Mrs. Red Life. I was like, wh- why why was I such a pain before? Now that's real. That's actually really real. I, I, I'm glad you said that because that's exactly what I was saying before. I mm-hmm. think when we're young, we have this this false image of what being a man should be like or should how, how a real man. Because this is the thing, right? Like you, you're a confident guy, right? And I'm sure there's women. Well, I've heard women in the comments. This is not coming from me. I've heard women in the comments say you're handsome. So you're not <laughs> you're not short of women, right? I'm sure. So, but then it gets to a point where, like any superhero that has a strength or a power, right? You test your powers to see how far they go. 
But then once you know that I'm the Incredible Hulk, I'm Superman, I'm Batman, I'm powerful, now what? You, you know what I mean? Because the only thing that's going to be left is for you to just become self-destructive because now you are allowing the power to consume you. You know you can get girls. You know girls like you. Where does the light, where does it stop? Mm-hmm. So it has to come from within where you're like, yo, what actually makes me happy? Not what people think should make a guy like me happy or whatever. Because if you're a guy with money or who's handsome or whatever, you're always going to get girls. You understand? But it has to come from you to be like, yo, what makes me happy? Like what, what actually makes me, gives me that feeling of fulfillment, feeling like, yo, you know what? I'm good. That's when you're going to start thinking like the way how you just uh, said right now, where you start to go, you know what? Why do I actually need five, six girls to make me feel, feel better? I'm like, you know what? I'm okay. I'm totally fine with my girl being away for work or whatever for weeks or whatever. And then looking forward to doing something with my girl when she does come back. Rather rather than trying to be eating little snacks in between to try and fulfill that whole whole healthy meal. That's that's (laughs) But little snacks in between. Yeah. Yeah. It's a bit like, you know, your your woman is kitchen making a beautiful meal for you. And here mm-hmm. you are busy eating my knickknacks or eating my gota, my scopas, whatever. By the time the meal comes, you're full, right? You, you, you're not even full, but you're like, ah, I don't even want to eat right now. It's like, mm-hmm. damn, right? It, it yeah. distracts. But anyways, Jack, we've been uh, we've been here for one hour, 60 minutes. I think the moral of the story is that, uh, uh, yeah, let us uh, love each other. <laughs> Yeah, let's 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 spread love. Don't go uh pouring um what do you call it? Uh water on your boyfriend's laptop or stabbing yeah. tires. I, I, it's necessary. But it if, is if you it do is. And if he if you do and he gets a restraining order on you, I can't say I blame him. So mm-hmm. that's on you. <laughs> uh Govan Govan has asked can we go into a new topic? Uh sorry guys for the Dr. Phil uh session we had here at the end. But we all gotta heal. We need to heal. We need to talk about these things. Uh so yeah, we we're actually about to call it a day. Drag any yeah, last I, words? It's a wrap. It's a wrap. It's a wrap. It's a wrap. Once again, thanks. Uh this <laughs> one has been a more relationship oriented. It's because it's been kind of all of our relationships. Uzota's relationship, Mishali's relationship, uh, and baby girl's relationship. I forgot her name. Uh, uh, bougie. So yeah, it's kind of been around that. So, uh, mm. but hey, uh, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, we we really really thank you mm. for coming through. So same time, same place next week. Uh, follow your boy at Drag Official on the uh, Instagram. Uh, yeah, check out the music links in the description below. I spoke about it at the beginning of this video, so I'm not gonna go on about it again. And mm-hmm. go on the Red Live website, redlive.co.za, to check out all the latest news and whatever, um, mm-hmm. and stuff like that. So, yeah, uh, that's that, guys. We out, yeah, that's it. Uh, if you enjoyed the video, you know what to do give it a huge thumbs up, share the video, and uh, yeah, thanks for watching and binge watch. Pre-